Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Today we're doing a bit of a deep dive into some uh, really fascinating science. It's looking at a novel way we might maybe manage rising global temperatures. Yeah, it involves, believe it or not, tweaking the clouds over our oceans. Tweaking clouds, okay. And specifically, we're looking at a recent test, right? Something about making clouds brighter. Exactly, making them more reflective. The core idea is called marine cloud brightening. Marine cloud brightening, right. So it's a kind of geoengineering approach. It is. And the basic principle involves spraying uh, really tiny particles up into the lower atmosphere over the sea. Okay, tiny particles. Like what kind of particles are we talking about? I think sea salt mostly yeah. or similar aerosols. Very, very fine stuff. And what do these particles, these little salt bits, actually do up there? Well, they act as something called cloud condensation nuclei. Condensation nuclei. Like little seeds for a cloud droplet. Precisely. Water vapor needs something to condense onto. Yeah. So if you add more of these seeds... You get more water droplets forming. You get more droplets, yes. But the key thing is they end up being smaller droplets. Ah, okay. More, but smaller. And how does that change the cloud? Why does that matter? Because a cloud made of lots of small droplets is actually brighter. It reflects more sunlight back into space. It becomes more reflective. Increases its albedo, is that the term? That's the one. Higher albedo means more sunlight bounced away. Now, you mentioned a test. This isn't just theory, then. People are actually trying this out. Yeah, there was a significant real-world trial quite recently, over in San Francisco Bay, actually. San Francisco Bay. What did they use? How yeah. did they spray these particles? They had a device. Apparently, it looked a bit like a snow machine. Huh. Like for skiing? Sort of, yeah. Yeah. And it's putting out this fine mist of salt aerosol. Okay, but the goal of that test... It wasn't about changing the global temperature right then, was it? Oh, no, definitely not. It was much more focused, really about assessing the device itself. Could it actually generate the right kind of particles? Could it potentially alter cloud properties on a very local scale? That was the question. Checking if the tech works, basically. Exactly. Proof of concept for the delivery method. But the bigger picture, the ambition behind this, it's obviously much larger than just one bay. Right. The long-term idea, or hope, I suppose, is whether you could do this over vast areas of ocean to influence cloud composition enough to make a difference to how much solar energy the Earth absorbs. It's a form of solar radiation modification. Solar radiation modification? It sounds pretty major. Is this idea gaining traction? Are scientists taking it seriously? It's definitely getting more attention. You know, researchers, some private investors, even government bodies are looking into it more. Hmm. But I imagine it's controversial, too, deliberately messing with clouds. Absolutely. There's considerable debate. Like any geoengineering technique, there are big questions. What kind of concerns are people raising? Well, the potential for unforeseen consequences is a big one. Could it disrupt rainfall patterns elsewhere? Affect ecosystems? We don't fully know. Yeah, you can see why people would be cautious. And crucially, many experts stress that this kind of thing can't distract from the main job. Which is cutting emissions, right? Dealing with the root cause. Exactly. Transitioning away from fossil fuels has to remain the absolute priority. This is seen by proponents as maybe a supplementary tool, but not the solution itself. Right. It's not a get-out-of-jail-free card for emissions. Not at all. That's a key point often raised. Oh, okay. So quite a fascinating look there at this cloud-brightening tech. It's innovative for sure, but it definitely comes with a lot of complexity and uh, some serious questions attached. Really makes you think about the links we might go to and the potential risks involved. Well, that's our dive for today. Stay tuned to the Vion podcast for more intriguing stories like this one.